First, I'd like to say thank you very much for inviting us here today. And I read all of your books and I've listened to your tapes and I'm very much in awe of what wisdom you impart upon us. My question for you today is about love. And I understand that we're all part of something much larger than what we see and we sh there's great love for us. And I want to understand how do you hold on to that love on it? on an everlasting basis. It comes and then it disappears. And when you're feeling profound love for yourself, there's nothing that you can, there's nothing that you cannot do. But then it, other times you just lose that feeling. How do you hold on to it? Well, it's an art that you practice. And it's really what the art of allowing is. It's the art of allowing the whole of who you are. And so the art of allowing is the art of resonance. It's the art of awareness. It's the art of being aware of how I feel. It's the art of being willing to do something about it if it does feel off. And most of all, it's the art of catching it in the early stages. Because if you have gradually come into alignment, as you have described, and we agree, and then something is causing it to wobble, as our friend said, or eroding it a little bit, you can catch that erosion in the early subtle stages if you are aware of it. So we think the most helpful thing would be to call it alignment rather than love and say that love is one of the emotions that I feel when I'm in alignment okay. as is clarity one of the emotions that I feel when I'm in alignment or fun or happiness or lightheartedness or interest or exhilaration or friskiness in other words appreciation appreciation is a much purer vibration for most people than the word love because love means so many things there's so much lost love and and longing for love and really people are looking for love in all the wrong places even calling it love because what you're looking for is alignment you're looking for resonance with who you are so you said something really nice to us you said I am appreciating I've been reading your books and I uh, and I am in awe of and we were about to jump in but we didn't want to interrupt all of the beautiful things you were saying about us <laughs> but we we're about to jump in and say what you were the reason that you are feeling that way is because you were feeling resonance those words because of your proximity to the vibration that is us caused you to feel resonance with who you are and so it induced within you or provided for you clarity and and clarity and uh, clarity <laughs> and in other words is there anything better than that that feeling of alignment and so we wouldn't go running around looking for love we'd look for alignment and we would look for it on every subject in other words when when you go outside this uh, hear this this is a an approach to alignment that we have not spoken in this way before but we are including in this conversation path of least resistance and awareness of how you feel if we could help you stubborn beings that you are accept the rightness of the path of least resistance you would get so fast into alignment so let's say you've gone outside and you don't have a coat and let's say you are where it's nine degrees it's cold the path of least resistance is to go back and put on your coat <laughs> write that down <laughs> and notice why it's right because it feels better to you it feels better to you you feel better with your coat on than your coat off that's the path of least resistance you don't have much money in your checking account and you're going someplace and you're spending it all that's not the path of least resistance don't write the check don't hand them the credit card that's not the path of least resistance why 
because it doesn't feel good in other words start you're visiting with your friend friends mommies that are sitting around talking and they're getting into gossipy territory you can feel that's not the path of least resistance so you try to say something more uplifting that makes them decide that you are a goody two-shoes and and that you don't belong to the group and now you feel defensive more resistance more resistance more resistance more resistance now you're invited there again don't go <laughs> that's the path of least resistance in other words this is not a difficult thing but what is necessary to understand it to find this love that you're reaching for to find it and maintain it consistently is that you've got to be selfish enough to acknowledge that you know resonance with source when you feel it and you know lack of resonance with sort resonance with source when you feel it mm -hmm. and you're just gonna follow the path of alignment the path of the unfolding path to alignment and you're gonna do it deliberately enough that you'll know for sure when you're there and when you're not there and what to do about it okay. it's momentum that you're talking about it's stopping doubt before it starts it's getting enough mo momentum of alignment and well-being going that it would take really strong doubt to penetrate what you've got going on now that's not to say that it couldn't but it's unlikely that it will if you've got really strong momentum but if you get up you're all wobbly you're not intentioned in your day you're not thinking about who you are you're not tapping into who you really are you're not reaching for feelings of appreciation you're just sort of taking what comes to you and you're you're letting the conditions that surround you set the tone the vibrational tone of what you're doing then you're not going to find love or alignment or clarity just by saying the words because the momentum took you somewhere else now you need to go to sleep again <laughs> we're not kidding you go to sleep and wake up in alignment and and milk it as long as you can and then go to sleep and wake up in alignment and milk it as long as you can and then go to sleep and wake up in alignment and milk it as long as you can and then go to sleep and go into alignment and milk it as long as you can and then go to sleep it's gonna take a while go to sleep <laughs> and let the momentum subside and reconnect with who you really are and get all filled up and then awaken into the new day and each day you will be able to carry your alignment your allowing your appreciation further and further until it's such a path of least resistance that it's almost like anyone who wants to trouble you really you should see the aerial views of your life there are people who move through life and anything anything detrimental just zigs and zags around you if you could see an aerial view you're tuned in you're tapped in you're turned on and there's a pillager in the village <laughs> looking for somebody to pillage but he doesn't choose you because law of attraction just diverts him somebody could give him your address <laughs> and he can't find you if you have your vibrational cloaking device up <laughs> you see what we're getting at yes. in other words it's all about vibration it's all about practiced vibration it's all about practiced vibration which causes momentum of vibration it's all about steadiness it's all about recognizing it and so most of all it's about not beating up on yourself when you have negative emotion and realize it's just your guidance system letting you know that's not the path this is that's not the path this is doesn't mean you're bad it doesn't mean you've gone wrong it doesn't mean you have practiced negatively it means that's not the path something else is you see I do find myself you know slipping off the path sometimes and then trying to well, let's talk get about that on. more okay <laughs> I don't know where the negative you don't ever slip off the path you no. never slip off the path it's just sometimes you have more awareness that you're on it than others okay the path is not going to disregard you the path the, the path is lighting up under your feet you're always on the path you're always on the path sometimes you just hear the tree fall and sometimes you don't okay depends on where you're tuned Ooh, take that take that home with you please take that home with you you're always on the path it's just sometimes you're you're 
you're so tuned from it that you, you just sort of wander around in the in the forest for a while but you're always on the path okay. just get caught up in the life things that happen that are messy dirty you know knock you over a couple of times and when you start feeling them coming they don't feel good though you don't have to get caught up you don't have to get caught up what's the hook you don't have to get caught up you don't have to get caught up it seems prudent to get caught up because you've got beliefs like you like like I have no choice here which you always do but you don't have to get caught up okay. follow the path of least resistance it's, it's really interesting because path of least resistance means if it doesn't feel good go someplace else that's what the path of least resistance means follow what feels the best and sometimes always <laughs> group like you thinks well Abraham if I followed my path of least resistance I wouldn't go to work tomorrow <laughs> and we say that might be true but it might be right now the path of least resistance going to work might be providing the stimulation you're looking for the remuneration that you're that you are desiring or wanting or needing for tomorrow it might be the path of least resistance you might step back and say I'm not always going to work here that thought is a path of lesser resistance you might step back and say I'm going to find a place I really like to spend my time that thought is a path of even lesser resistance but if you say I hate going to work and I'm not going tomorrow or I hate going to work and I'm going anywhere way even though I hate it that's a path of resistance and that vibration won't put you in a place where the vibration can be realized by you in a way that something that you do want can unfold you see what we're getting at yes I definitely do so how does the path of least resistance appear how do you translate it it's a thought it's an idea it's an impulse it's not big writing on the wall it's not coming to a seminar and getting in the hot seat and asking a question and having someone lay it all out for you like a concierge or here's your itinerary go there tomorrow and do this and talk to that one that's like the the, the, the girls in Esther's first job don't talk to them 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 that was a very well-meaning person trying to guide a new person into being able to navigate treacherous waters that person really meant well but what it pointed out to Esther is there's very little path of very little resistance here this is a path of treacherous this is a place that I don't want to be the path of least resistance was right out the door she'd walked in you say and so that's true for all of you but you got to give yourself permission to do what feels best to you and most of you are not really in a place where you're willing to do that because of what you say there are all of these other so now what well I'm living the life that I've always wanted I, I have my own career I, I just recently got divorced I left everything on a high note after 35 years because I've adopted your philosophy and I've tapped into my inner spirit to get the things that I'm most attracted to and it's been working beautifully for me I've learned to love myself but I just don't know how to keep that going on a daily basis if I could it's like I feel like I'm unstoppable There's you no just stopping. push the reset button every night just push the reset button every night and then do as well as you could do the next day and knowing that that's what your intention is is enough and eventually you reach this place and you're right there maybe even there you're right there where you're no longer requiring anybody else to be any particular way in order for you to be in alignment in other words everybody else just becomes irrelevant to the scenario because you realize it is a vibrational thing that you've got going on and that does not mean stand in the middle of something that is unpleasant and keep observing the unpleasantness often it means walking away in other words we're not anti-divorce we say there's many people have taken the path of least resistance by doing that unless they spend the rest of their life justifying why they left by how bad it was when they were there in other words that's the tripping point for so many you see mm -hmm. but it's good to feel good and it's good to have fun 
it's good to be clear and so your beginning question with us was it was about love and how to maintain love for yourself on a regular basis and so the answer is just set the reset button every night every because night because and and but what is the real answer in other because words it'll make me feel good but what is the real answer even deeper than that's a trick question you're never going to get there we'll just tell you uh -huh. <laughs> The, the real answer is that there is so much love for you and from you and to you and through you that there is no reasonable reason for you to not be finding it in other words really we're surrounded there is by no it. reason for you to not be feeling it the source within you adores you and is walking every step with you and any negative emotion you feel in any moment is evidence that your source is with you because if the path weren't right there you couldn't feel when you step into murky territory do you get that the very fact that you feel negative emotion is a pronouncement and a demonstration of the true love that is there because if it weren't there you wouldn't be feeling the relational did you get that that was really big so when you say to someone my hatred for you in this moment demonstrates how much I really love you <laughs> well my inner being loves you me not so much <laughs> me not so much are you getting this mm -hmm. so then you just get to decide how much how much love you want how much clarity you want it's just a matter of getting a bead on it like you did when you found a book you read it you resonated with it you felt good you see that's all it is and now you don't need books you don't need our books you've you've been reunited with your own guidance system oh a guidance system that's there all day every day aware of where you are in relationship with who you really are all day long all day long it's heavenly heaven on earth heaven everywhere you are clarity so someone says do you have everything you want and you say it's constantly unfolding and they say but do you have everything you want you say thankfully no and they say what do you mean and you say well I'm evolving and I don't want to eat all the food that I'm going to eat for the rest of my life today either I like it just coming and coming so you're happy in your life yes I'm really happy in your life well what do you have to show for it? happiness <laughs> but why are you happy because I've tuned into happiness but how do you justify your happiness because I find it easily because it's who I am but 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 how do you demonstrate your happiness through clarity through happiness through being in the right place at the right time by ideas flowing to me that are just astounding and astonishing to me by feeling the wholeness of the universe present with me in any moment by knowing what to do by knowing what to say by feeling my guidance by having such a fun time what else I get everything I want things flow easily to me nice people around me all the time endless options of things to entertain myself and surprise and delight me ease of flow confidence in where I am certainty about where I am appreciation of myself and others lightheartedness appreciation of the world recognition a feeling of worthiness a feeling of worthiness a feeling of being blessed I, a feeling of such fortune such fortune will you have it all oh no thankfully it just keeps it just keeps unfolding to the degree that I can comprehend it and acknowledge it that's the pace of it I love it sounds great yeah thank you so yeah. very much yeah, yeah.